Welcome kindergarteners to the Minna Anthony Common Nature Center's virtual field trip. You're gonna learn so much today and have a lot of fun. Here are your guides. I'm Kim. And I'm Lauren. Join us to learn about the outdoors. Let's get started. So we're out here and we are flipping over logs very gently to see what we can find under them. This one, we just lifted up. And underneath it, there are all these little holes where the little insects have been crawling in. And there's somebody very special here. If you look right there, you'll see a sleepy, tiny red ant. See it? You don't want to touch them because the, the oils on your fingers are bad for them. But there he is, just sleeping there until springtime. Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Kim. And this is my son, Gavin. Hi. Today we're going to be looking underneath rocks and logs to see what could be living underneath. This is how we're going to do it. Gavin, why don't you show them? We're lifting a rock up and look underneath. Gavin, do you see anything? No. Nope. What do we do after we see what's underneath the rock? Gently put it back. Gently put it back. Watch for fingers and toes. We want to make sure that we put their houses back. There's lots of things that need rocks. Let's lift up this one over here, Gavin. We're lifting up small rocks too. We don't want anything too heavy. You have to be able to find rocks that are touching the ground. What about this one here? I have a feeling that this might be a good one. So take a look at all these ants in here. They're moving around. They have little white eggs in them. And they're actually taking them down into the ground. So this is what's called a colony of ants. Oh, look at this, Gavin. A worm. Here, show everybody the worm we just found. It's a small one. They can get really big. Show them the worm. They can't see it. That was the last one. Worms like dark, wet places, and they eat rotting plant material like leaves and grass. Can you put him back? There he goes. I'll put the rock back. We don't see any critters here, but there are some neat things. You know what this is? Oh, yeah. They're hickory nuts. I, I just guessed that in my head. Yeah? These are all old and rotted, but what happens is, is squirrels will hide acorns and hickory nuts in places, and then they find them in the wintertime to feed on. So these must be old nuts that they forgot about and left behind and they, they rotted. It up. Oh, nothing there, but there's another rock here. Let's see if we can lift this one up. Ooh, look at this. There's a little hole there. So at one point, that could have been a place where a spider was living and denning. See right there? They have to make holes and then they can put their spider sacks in there. Spider sacks are a bunch of eggs together. Oh yeah, there is a spider that lives in there. Yeah, I've seen them before. Let's put the rocks back because we never know when there's going to be a critter that lives there. What's living on top of the rocks, Gavin? Moss. Yeah, moss also lives on rocks. Let's try to lift up this log. Can you back up? And we'll lift up this log and see if we can find anything. Oh. It's so rotten. Yeah, we need rotted things. Rotting logs are just as important as rocks. Oh, that is a baby plant called a sprout. That's starting to grow. There's some little, little sprouts of different plants growing. Rotting logs are just as important as rocks because this will break down and turn into what? You know what they turn into? Dirt. Dirt. And that dirt is packed full of all sorts of vitamins that the ground needs 
in order for plants to grow. Do you take vitamins? Yeah, that's to help you get healthy and strong and plants need rotting logs as their vitamins to help them grow big and strong. Take some time with a piece of paper, some crayons and markers, and draw what you found underneath the rocks and logs. Gavin made a picture. Can you tell us what this you drew? This is an ant. This is a spider sack and a spider hole. And this is a baby plant, hickory nut, and worm. So those are all the different things we found today. Another time you can go out and look underneath rocks and logs and you can add to your picture. Very good job, Gavin. Have a good day, everybody. Happy exploring.